hypertension in African American males. Why this topic is important in the field of public health. Hypertension is an important public health challenge in the United States and other countries due to its high prevalence and strong association with heart attacks, heart failure, kidney disease, and premature death. High blood pressure forces your heart to work harder to pump blood to the rest of your body. This causes part of your heart, the left ventricle, to thicken. A thickened left ventricle increases the risk of heart problems. Hypertension is more common in African American people than it is in other racial groups in the United States. Hypertension increases the risk of heart disease and some other health concerns. African Americans, especially African American males, live shorter lives on the average than men from other racial groups. Effective monitoring and surveillance systems need to be in place to monitor progress in reducing the prevalence of hypertension and increasing the awareness, treatment, and control of the disease. Managing and preventing hypertension is part of the challenges facing public health. The estimated total number of adults with hypertension in the world in 2000 was 972 million, with 333 million in economically developed countries and 639 million in economically underdeveloped countries. It is important for people to understand that the prevention and reduction of high blood pressure should be of high priority for all. African American males with hypertension can benefit greatly from the therapeutic lifestyle changes, such as diet, modification, physical activity, and weight loss management. However, evidence suggests that patients experience difficulty with incorporating these changes in their daily lives. Not all people have the same access to quality health care. The limited access to quality health care can attribute to lower life expectancy. Differences in socioeconomic and environmental factors may present barriers to enter in the health care system, resulting in varying degrees of quality care. It has been shown that wealth is correlated with longevity, indicating a link between socioeconomic status and mortality. But why do disparities in health care still exist? Although modern hospital and treatment centers are now widespread across the developed world, not everyone can afford treatment. Compounding this issue, detrimental behaviors such as poor diet, inadequate exercise, and smoking are higher in populations with low socioeconomic status. Furthermore, people of high socioeconomic status generally have better continuity of care, fewer costs, and more knowledge about their care. In addition to socioeconomic status, ethnicity, gender, mental health, and disability are also major factors contributing to inequalities in health. Therapeutic lifestyle change interventions should emphasize patient management, support by providers, family, and the community. Interventions should be tailored to an individual's cultural, heritage, beliefs, and behavior norms. Providers can help patients get the care they need by providing the opportunity to address the social determinants affecting the patient's health and utilize creative solutions to help them overcome those barriers. Healthcare providers need to try to understand patients' health issues and address them honestly to build trust. Providing resources such as food banks, 
community fairs, voucher assistance for medications, offering transit assistance, telehealth technology to reduce some of the barriers. But why is this topic important? Having high blood pressure can be deadly and there's a silent risk that is the culprit. Many families don't talk about the illnesses that their family members are facing. Illnesses such as high blood pressure have the opportunity to grow into abnormal stages over time. Hypertension is an important topic for the African American male or anyone facing this disease because they can die if the symptoms are not controlled and therapeutic measures are not used to stabilize the condition. Research. In researching the topic, we went to peer-reviewed articles, journals, and books found primarily in the Oakland University Library in addition to the National Heart Society. What do we need to do? Advocate for free health care. Most impoverished people prioritize and health care due to the cost is not at the top. Presented by Group 2, Independent Women, Tammy Ogundu, Linda Crowder, and Ashley Gregor. Thank you.